Hey everybody, this is Sherry with CPR Craft Pray Repeat and I'm here today with a project for cottage cuts and I'm going to start by showing you what dies that I used and I used the Some Bunny Loves You and I just used the different bunnies here and then I used the nested stitched eyelet circle set and I used the second uh, from the smallest. I used that one right there. And what we're going to make are these just little uh, sour cream containers and I wanted to show you how to make them I have actually made a total of 22 of them to give to the police department here in town so you cut your paper four and a quarter by five and a half and you start by putting your tape and I would definitely recommend using stronger tape than what I'm or not stronger wider tape than what I'm using here because um, I'm having trouble getting them to stay together so I had to go back in and use an extra piece but I don't have any wider right now so you know I would definitely suggest using you know quarter inch at least quarter inch and so you just put your tape on and you put it on three sides you put it on the short side one short side and both long sides and because I want to make sure that this sticks really, really good, I uh, I always take my bone folder and just kind of, you know, go over it, and make sure it's all good and pressed down, so I know that I've got it good and tight. Then I just peel off my probably should have done this part first, but I just kind of shape it into a into like a little tube. That way it goes to be together easier, and you just line up the ends here and then close it off and then I take again take my bone folder and I go in to make sure that my sides my inside is all good and pushed down and everything's adhered now here's how you do the top part and you just peel off the adhesive and now I did find that originally I had started putting my seam in the center and when you do that when you flip it one particular direction you can see the seam so I found that it works better to put the seam slightly off center so you just do that and squeeze it together and here's my seam right there and I found that I can put five of these little rollos you could I think maybe four of the small Reese cups would probably fit in here and um, but five of these fit really nice and then you just peel off your your tape again <clears throat> excuse me guys peel off my tape again here and now I'm going to squeeze it see this one was squeezed this way now we're going to squeeze this one in the opposite direction and I love doing these little um, sour cream containers I've always thought they were cute so I just push that all down and then now you don't have to do this part but this is something that I do and I just take my crimper and get my finger out of there so I don't pinch it and run it through whoops run it through correctly Sherry run it through two or three times on each end and that makes it look like the actual little sour cream containers how they were sealed and uh, stuff on the bottom so you can see the the ribbon here and I just pick which side I want to be my front because of course you know here's your your seam so you wouldn't want that to be the front of your piece so pick whichever works best for you I think I like that one and then I use a 1 8 inch hole punch and I just eyeball the center here and poke myself a hole and I've already taken my bunny and did some use some pan pastels on it to give it a little dimension and kind of set it apart so it uh, had some shadowing and then I just get my glue out this is a real simple project and it's perfect if you need to mass produce because I was doing I had 22 of them to do and they went together super quick and so I just find the where I want my little uh, bunny to go and whoops let me get my bunny tail and then I'm gonna put my bunny tail on here and, and this little um, 
nested eyelet circle is just like the perfect size for a little tag. And then I go ahead and again I eyeball where I think it, I want my hole. And I had originally tried to go through one of the um, holes in the scallops, but that was just too small. Now if you had a, a um, sorry guys, I didn't mean to reach in front of you. If you had a smaller thread, you could probably do that, but it just was not going to work for me. So I just go ahead and put another hole in because I'm using twine. You know, but if you're using a, some kind of like an upholstery thread or something, that would probably work perfect. And then I'm just going to thread that through. And to get it, I did this, the, I did it wrong the first time, so I'm, you know, learn from my mistakes here, folks, because heaven knows I make enough of them. Go from the back to the front, because if you go the other direction, your little tag will end up being in the wrong place, and it'll hang crooked. So, so that you guys can see the ribbing and stuff. I just think that looks really cute. And I start by making a double knot because, you know, I didn't want the bows to come out and then it looked icky. And plus, the guys are probably just going to tear them off. And I'm having a heck of a time today. I can't even make a simple bow. And, um, and you just make your bow. And then I, you know, fiddle with the bow a little bit and get it the way that I want it. And then I just take my scissors and trim off the edges to the length I want. And there we go. There is our sour cream container. Super quick and easy. And I was able to make several of these in an afternoon. I made 22 of them this afternoon. Remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. I love you all. Bye.